Hey, welcome to the No More Dirty TV show. I'm your host. Oh, as my man on the, on the No More Dirty radio show, he was saying, he's the host with the most. Yeah, I'm Minister Fred too, a.k.a. Frederick Whitlow II, Mr. W, Coach Whitlow. And by the way, I want to say shout out to the Huntsville Housing. You are the Rocket City Bars. We are going to the tournament this coming Saturday. Listen. My boys is just killing the game. So shout out to my 12U and now, but the 15U is going to hang out with the War Dogs. Man, listen, shout out to Kim and hung out with us, man. It was great. Uh, shout out to K KJ and Corey, the whole squad, and for being such a blessing to us. So listen, I'm going to just give them as plug it, really. So if you have nothing to do with your life this coming Saturday afternoon, I want to invite you out to James Clemens High School. Uh, if you're in the Huntsville area, you know where that is. That's in Madison. 415 is the 303 Kids Tournament. Now, what I'm excited about it is it's going to be kids from all over, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, and they're going to have an amazing War Dog uh, 303 Tournament. And we have four of our teams in public housing. So shout out to our kids. You guys do great. I'm excited. We plan on taking some hardware back. I'm just saying at the end of the day, we don't just play just because we nice. We play because we nice, and we gonna have to get that them to get that hardware. So anyway, today's show is gonna be bananas. We are gonna go down the lane of clean and Christian comedy. And shout out to the uh, the young brother that said, "Hey man, Mr. Fred, why don't you do something that just features comedians and what have you?" So here it is. You already know the business. Let's start it off. I'm gonna give you a, a comedy snippet, uh, and then we might just do one. Let's, uh, Kenny, let's do that one. Um, the one that said, man, you know, newborn Christians be like, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> there you go. We'll see you right back. Don't go nowhere. We just getting started. No more dirty TV. <laughs> well, I can't inflect yeah. Oh, give it up. I'm... Man, I ain't giving nothing up. I ain't worried. I ain't never been worried. My God got oh, me. Oh, yeah? So you think you tough. No, nah, I ain't tough. Christ is a rock, though. You got two guns? Shoot me twice. Okay, wait, stop, wait, I'm gonna have to stop him there. He been to Bible study twice this week and now he think he invincible, but me, no. If God say it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I ain't worried. I ain't never been worried. You high right now? You think God is gonna save you from this? It's a shame. Lord forgive him for he knows not what he does. Man, stop playing, give up that food stamp card. Food stamps? This is all for, you doing this all for food stamps? I ain't got time for this. Go ahead and tell God I said what up. Ha! <laughs> got he! Uh, hold on. Is I told you! Christ is the way, boy! He tried to kill me! Uh, Thank you, God. I knew he was gonna have my back. I don't understand why they do these things, Lord. I love you. I love me. But where are you? My attorney said to me, he said, when you die, do you want to be buried or cremated? So I said, surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> No spoilers. <laughs> I was doing some research on the internet the other night. I discovered that there had once been a murder in the house that we're currently living in. It happened two years after we moved in. <laughs> <laughs> Raised a lot of questions, actually. <laughs> I was a little kid when my grandfather died. I remember I asked my mother, I said, when I die, will I see Grampy again? And she said, not if you're good. <laughs> so I've been busy. I had a job interview last week. The guy asked me like a hundred questions. At one point he said to me, do you gossip? So I said, no. But you know who does. <laughs> I haven't heard back from him yet. <laughs> Little things bother me. Yesterday, the guy that was supposed to fix our doorbell didn't show up. Or did he? <laughs> Some mysteries will never be solved. <laughs> My aunt retired this week. She worked at the DMV for 40 years. 40 years at the DMV. And in that time, she waited on nearly a dozen customers. <laughs> I was talking to my neighbors. My neighbor said to me, you don't know this about me, 
but I've had a lot of Botox. <laughs> Only one of us was able to keep a straight face. <laughs> My wife did that Ancestry.com. She discovered that one of her ancestors graduated in the first graduating class at Harvard in 1636. And get this, two weeks ago, he finished paying off his student loan. <laughs> I got stopped by the cops last week. The cops said to me, you were going 70 in a 50. I said, 70 is the new 50. <laughs> I saw someone hitchhiking the other day. Hitchhiking? It's so dangerous. I came this close to pulling over and murdering him myself <laughs> just to teach him a lesson. Hi, I'm Brian Kiley. I just learned about something called an app, and it turns out that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app that you can download right now and watch my special. Thanks. Thanks Great so having you. Incredible women. I wish they had those kind of cool careers for women when we were growing up. So in this flashback, we're all the same age? Yeah. What does everyone want to be when they grow up? If I say two jobs, do I get extra credit? No. I want to make immersive video games. I want to revolutionize 3D printing. I want to analyze data from the cloud. I want to be a meteor. You mean meteorologist. No. That's great, Al. Follow your dreams. For the record, I was a baby in the 70s. Welcome back, 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 Jack, to the comedy relief of No More Dirty TV. <laughs> so listen, because we're doing this, this whole clean comedy thing, we got the show next week. I'm telling you, listen, you need to pull up to the spot where lives transform. 6 p.m. is going down. Doors open at 5.30. Get your ticket. In fact, you when you get a ticket, whether it's a regular general seating, and I, you listen, we transfer them in all this space. Like, we got a new stage. We got new lights. We got all this kind of stuff. You are going to have a blast because we've got an amazing national clean comedian. I'm talking about the dude opened up for uh, Cat Williams. He's opened up for Bruce Bruce. The late uh, John Withersby. Anyway, I'll tell you more about that. And it's going to be right here in Hunts, Vegas. Huntsville, Alabama. This coming. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be on March, 8th, March 9th. But anyway, let me get into the feature. We all show a feature. So this time we're going to do a comic feature. Clean Comedian. Listen, I'm telling you straight up. So our Clean Comedian that we're going to feature is, and I've been to his shows, the two shows. It's been banana when he just fights. It's Michael Jr. And he's talking about, you know, man, I grew up like, mm, Lord have mercy. So check it out. We'll be right back. And we'll get right back into the show. It is the special for clean comedy. No more dirty TV. <laughs> get your laugh on. I am not responsible for the giggles. Even as a kid, growing up, we were poor. We weren't even poor. We were po. <laughs> we couldn't afford the other letters, man. We had no money. Look, I was actually being sponsored by a family from Haiti. Yeah, that's a funny joke. <laughs> I see this lady over here struggling. She don't know if she should laugh or not. <laughs> It's okay, you can laugh, you can laugh. When you're poor, your creativity excels. Like it really, really excels. I remember I wanted an action figure when I was 10 years old, I wanted an action figure so bad. My birthday came along, my dad hands me a box. I open it up, it's empty. He said, it's Invisible Man. I was like, that is awesome! I played with that thing for like three weeks, man. So my brother hid it from me. Couldn't find it nowhere, man. I knew he took it. We played games, we just made up games. We played this one game called uh, Talk About You. 
the instructions were to just talk about you. <laughs> That's all we did. We talked about each other. My friends would talk about me and be like, Michael Jr., you got some big feet. And I was good at this game. I was like, oh, yeah, well, you're so dark-skinned. I bet if you ride a motorcycle, you get a ticket for tenant windows. <laughs> <laughs> It's hilarious. White people are looking for black people to make sure they can laugh. It's just okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. You sure? No? <laughs> we ain't had no money, man. We had a my parents would buy us some stuff, but they couldn't pay for every like we had the game operation, right? We ain't had no batteries. Then my cousin came over and he figured out a way how to plug it into the wall, right? It's a whole nother game now. A whole nother game. Right? The Operation Roulette is what we called it. It was Operation Roulette. We just played one time. We played one time. I was like, nah, I don't want to play. I don't want to play. Like, it ain't my turn. Somebody else better go. It ain't my turn. It ain't going. Actually, you know what? Um, I made that up. We weren't poor when I was a kid. I just said that because some jokes are funnier. Some jokes are funnier from a poor perspective. I'm going to prove it right now. You always, here's a great example. I'm going to tell you the exact same joke from a prosperous perspective. Watch what happens. When I was a kid, my parents bought us the game Operation, um, and we played it. So. It's not as funny, is it? Yeah. It's better if I was poor, so. Michael Jr. is so funny. Michael Jr. Jr. is so funny. <laughs> hey, welcome back, welcome back. Listen, this is, this is, you know, I'm excited. Yo, Kenny, this is like really pretty dope. Like, and thank you again to the brother that was like, man, we need to do some comedy, mix it up, you know? But look, we're going to give you some boom bap on this one. But I got to give you the flip the script, right? So the flip the script for this this one, for this show, is Proverbs 17 22. And it says, A cheerful heart, giggle, 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 ha ha ha, is good medicine. Uh, but a broken, spirit saps everything you got a person's strength his whole face gets screwed i mean just just get jacked so listen it's real simple today you've got to get a laugh in so that life becomes a beautiful journey we're doing this show because we some people have just said man fred it's just been rough it is but if you can find a space in your life, in your time, your day, where you can really enjoy a good laugh, a, a smirk, a smile, listen, ain't nobody try to get no drama. It's enough drama out there already. You know what I mean? And the good thing about, well, I'm going to tell you what I like about, and I'm going to tell you some more about this, but I really like God because God was slick enough to make life count. We're going to talk about that when we come back. But I'm talking about, listen, think about a time, just real quick. Think about a time where it was just really a bad time in your life. And then something happened that caused you to laugh. Some caused you to laugh and be like, man, then you had to laugh at yourself. And it wasn't as bad as it you thought it was. So this is it, what we're going to do. We're going to go to Rick Montero. He got the whole crew, because I got to give you a little boom bap, because it is hip-hop, the cleanest and the dopest hip-hop. We just had a lot of comedy in this one. And I'm going to give you some of that comedy, that boom bap. Rick Montero, uh, YP, the commissioner, um, Dante, and then, you know, Pratty. That's my dudes, man. And so they're going to hit you with the day one mix, and it's going to be like, uh, we ain't trying to hear that, bro. So here it is. We'll see you in a second. Get your life together. Get your life together. No more dirt. <laughs> Can we give you a copy piece on the back here? <laughs> you want to rumble with the saints, huh? huh? Throw a blessing on your whole family. Dressed in all white like we chosen. 66 in the clip, we reloaded. 
Oh, you wanna rumble with the saints, huh? huh? Throw a blessing on your whole family. Dressed in the white like we chosen. 66 in the clip, we reloaded. Okay. I carry the cross like it's a travel. You can't reach heaven with all the babble. No fear, baby, we we'll never rattle. The enemy's jaw is glass. Box fragile, Crawford. I'ma win at any expense. Denzel, it's all about building a fence. Like the six man, the spirit never came off the bench. So I'm Jordan with the flow. And I'm screaming, repent. Be baptized. Those who you love, you chastise. Plus, we grew up in the peace. Seen black eyes. Used to drive around with the rock. That's fast five. We're saved by the bell. It's class time. I'll take notes. There's only one great. They're scapegoats. Tell the enemy, try me. Stage low. White horse. I'm going with them. Stage coach. Blessings keep pouring. Spent life in a raincoat. You wanna rumble with the saints, huh? huh? Throw a blessing on your whole family. Dressed in all white like we chosen. 66 in the clip, we reloaded. Okay. You wanna rumble with the saints, huh? huh? Throw a blessing on your whole family. Dressed in all white like we chosen. 66 in the clip, we reloaded. Okay. Understand for the body, I catch a homie. This the house of pain. We slaughter the flesh like Pilates. Simple and plain, our vision is name, man. Lifting his name up, you live it in vain. You won't match away from eternal flamers. So get it straight, won't promote that mediocre faith. Proverbs 14, 12, y'all ain't crossing them golden gates. Don't let your greed mislead your way in the Satan's cabin. Claim to be maverick under controls where you thought you had it. Fearing the Lord is nourished me to your bones, me bana. Wise in your own eyes, won't allow you to see my nana. Blocka, blocka, we bang and reload it up. If they find fragments of rad scriptures, you know it's us. Jehovah's chosen, we keeping his plan in motion. Planting to see wherever there's need and healing the broken. Jab it all, star lady beans, yeah, we the team. Prophetic dreams and visions, prayers. Is that in the sea? You wanna rumble with the saints, huh? Huh? Throw a blessing on your whole family. Dressed in all white like we chosen. 66 in the clip, we reloaded. Okay. You wanna rumble with the saints, huh? Huh? Throw a blessing on your whole family. Dressed in all white like we chosen. 66 in the clip, we reloaded. Okay. I'm a little Esther, I was saved by grace. And a little Deborah, they gon' judge my place. A little Remy Ma, I could've caught that case. And a little Kim, how I walk by faith. The Holy Ghost is a friend, no caster. So much word, I had to marry a pastor. So many bars, I had to marry a rapper. No bag, but the box, alabaster. They be out of pocket like some bunny ears. Soft changing colors like some gummy bears. If they ran down on my savior and I was there, then Jesus will be putting on another ear. Big beans, gigante like my God. We carry Christ, there's no room, we're outside. Giving praise, hands raised like high five. I spit Christ for everybody with blind eyes. Okay. 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 How they gonna use my truck and not put me in the video? Got smudges all on the truck. It's a good song though. All right, I'm about to call Postmates. Does everyone want the fish dinner then? We'll just, I'll just call a bunch of them. Jesus is on the way. So just get, maybe just get a couple, he'll take care of us. Okay, yeah, all right, just get- Two then? Two. All right, yeah, just two, we'll just do two fish, yeah. Yeah, maybe like five loaves of bread with it? Yeah, that's good, yeah, perfect. Bro, I just got a Venmo request from Judas. Dude, Jesus just got a blue check mark. How did he get verified? He only has 12 followers. I have way more than that. <laughs> Dude, David is liking and commenting on every one of Bathsheba's spring break pics. What's he doing? I thought uh, he was supposed to be at war. I don't know, dude. Also, what? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> dude, I'm on Facebook Marketplace right now. Look at this. Joseph's brothers are selling him. Can you do that? What? Oh, Job, he's just going on and on. He said he lost everything. Probably gonna get a Kickstarter up oh. soon. Bro, I was talking to Mary and Joseph last week. They were trying to price line a hotel in Bethlehem. Couldn't find anything. They ended up having to like Airbnb some like rustic barn, dude. Brutal. If Noah Instagrams one more time about his DIY project, I'm it's, done. It's too much. Like he's like, I'm getting these instructions from heaven. Oh, yeah. Doubt it. Dude. I ain't getting on that boat. Oh, look, another bachelorette in Sodom and Gomorrah. <sighs> Seen it. Sin City, we get it. Don't look behind you. You know what I'm saying? Cause the What? Okay, forget it. Dude, are you friends with the power of the sun on Snapchat? Have you seen his stories? He just like left his dad's house. He's in like another city just losing it. Dude. Insane. Like not safe for work. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, dude, have you heard from Paul in a while? Maybe he's in prison again? Again? <laughs> dude, you want a bite of this? Do I look like Adam to you? Okay. Bro, do you follow the rich young ruler? Is that that SoundCloud rapper? No, it's a guy. Oh. He's always posting about his house and his cars and stuff. He mm. met Jesus last week. Literally haven't heard from him. It's weird. Dude, Jesus came to town on a donkey. I dude. saw that. Could he not get an Uber? I mean, maybe he was surging. 
Dude, are you in this group chat with Shadar, Kamishak, and Abendigo? Uh -huh. I use this fire emoji. They got all offended. Oh, okay. Okay, Jonah tweeted he was going deep sea fishing three days ago. Have you heard from him? Maybe he doesn't have service? <laughs> <laughs> do you follow Saul? Yeah, what? He changed his username to Paul. What? Bro, do you have locations on for the children of Israel? They're just like wandering around. Literally makes no sense. Have you seen the weather for today? No, what? 50% chance of quail. Weird. Wow. Ah, uh, Abram and Isaac posted a selfie that headed the mountains for a little father-son trip. Amazing. What could go wrong? Uh -huh. Wait, what's that rope for? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, Lot's daughter's pregnant. She's gonna have a baby. No. I wonder who the dad is. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Bro, you're following the woman at the well? That's not like that. Uh Check your heart, dude. <sighs> Hey, welcome back to the, <laughs> the No More Dirty TV show. I'm your host again. You already know the business, Minister Fred Toot. If you want my government name, is Frederick Whitlow. The second is under, the, is right here at the bottom. But here, listen, I am hoping that you're enjoying this. I guess you're like, man, sometimes you got to laugh. Sometimes you got to get it in. Sometimes you just have to take the time to laugh at your issues. You know, a good therapist told me, he said, hey, Fred, um... What do you do when, when it's so bad you have nothing else to, to think about but the situation? I said, man, I just get depressed. He said, no. What you do is you take the situation and find the funny in it. Find the funny in your situation. I'm broke. That means I can't buy nothing. <laughs> yeah, I can't buy nothing. Well, at least I'm saving money. I'm not spending money. <laughs> so, you know, just find a find the funny or the sun, the sunshine, or the brightness that's even in, the, in your darkest moment. Uh, the other thing too about um, humor and laughter is humor gives you an opportunity to see where the sun or where the happiness can be. You know, the Bible says, "Whatever a man or woman thinketh, so is he or she." So, if our thought processes are positive and something that's hilarious then maybe we, maybe we can find the hilariousness or the solution or the open door in the situation versus always it being a negative situation. Here, I'm going to read it again. It says, a happy heart. Then that means when you're laughing, it makes your heart happy. Meaning you're taking your heart, which is the emotions, the feelings, that oh, it's a bad situation. But when you're laughing... And what comedians do is they take a very bad situation and then make it comical. So think about that today. What can I think on in the worst of my situation and I can still find joy and humor? Kind of sounds like God, finding God in the middle of your storm. So listen, we're going to go to two more songs. Uh, I think I want to do Bizzle. And it's, he has a song in his, and this is a hip hop, so we're going to give you a little hip hop. It's called Monster, you know. If we're not careful, we might find the monster in us instead of the comedian. And then let's do, uh, we'll give you another comedian snip. It's the Hallelujah Roll Call. Shout out to my man, Chris Chris. We'll be right back. You already know the business. No more dirty TV. And we're going to tell you what's happening on the back end. We're going to come back about what to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. Now listen, I'm going to need you to get a laugh on. We're going to go from dark and we're going to go to light. We're going to go from, oh my goodness, to, <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, let's begin. I 
I had a dream I was living in the crib just like this one Same wife, different children And it looks just like home But feels like I'm visiting I really can't tell if it's real or I'm tripping As I venture into the kitchen There's two chicks whispering Figured they was friends with the wife As they kicking it I see them both giggling The laughs get louder And as I begin listening It's clear that they dissing them Either you drunk, pissy, you all piff or belligerent And must not remember who kitchen it is you sitting in Don't never disrespect my queen You gotta get up and hit it before I really get pissed and start flipping And before I can get rid of them, one of them said Listen, we'll leave, but in a minute, believe us, we'll be here again We got permission from the guy that you're living with What guy? Your friend upstairs with the lizard skin I'll save you, I'll save you I'll save you, I'll save you from the monster, I'll save you, I'll save you, I'll save you, I'll save you, from the monster, uh, so I hit the stairs, running fast, gun in hand, stopping through the house, looking for this man, busting in the kids' room, well, they my kids, but they not my kids, that's the part that I don't understand, and I ain't mention anything from the kitchen. I just asked if any strangers came here to visit. They pointed at this drawing that they made. And this picture was a lady and some man with a face like a lizard. They laughing as I noticed they hands hitting behind they back. And it was something black in it. I tell them to let me see. As I take a look closer, it's a voodoo doll of my wife with needles all over. And now I'm tripping, asking them where they get it. And what are they doing with it? But all they doing is grinning. They looked at me and said, Dad, quit. Tripping. The monster inside y'all's room gave us permission. I'll save you, I'll save you. I'll save you, I'll save you. From the monster. I'll save you, I'll save you. I'll save you, I'll save you. From the monster. So I run up in our room and I see this man. He's standing over my wife and she bleeding bad I pull a gun out to squeeze but this thing is jammed So I swing but it's so slow I can't even land I step around and I see his hand It got my wife's heart in it and it's beating fast She got tears running all down the cheek But she keeps smiling though You would think she ain't even mad This dude got a hoodie on I can't see his face I'm just trying to figure if he a lizard or he a snake Is it what the chick explained? Is it who the kids were saying? Giving everybody permission to cause my missus pain He yelled something and it sounded like hypocrite Except he ain't said he was hissing it Asked him his name, he replied, Mark, then he looked up in his face, it was mine. I'll save you, I'll save you, I'll save you, I'll save you, from the monster, I'll save you, I'll save you, I'll save you, I'll save you, from the monster. I wake up and it's a chick laying next to me But it's not my wife laying in the bed with me Tears in my eyes and this dream got me dying inside Cause now I finally realize what it was telling me The two women in the kitchen they were dissing Cause the way that I was living had given them that permission And now I wanna flex with words and check forward But my actions is why they was losing respect for it And them kids that I didn't recognize at first See they really were my kids just not with her and the door with all the needles inside of her represents the betrayal they'd always be a reminder of. See, I was running around trying to be the hero, but the monster with her heart in his hand was me, though. I know you never let anybody hurt her, bro, but don't forget you in the position to hurt her most. I'll save you, I'll save you. I'll save you, I'll save you. From the monster. Yeah. Used to be soft. Yeah. Had them scales on my eyes, couldn't see at all. 
nah. But now I'm saved, yeah. it's a say by grace yeah. I wrote a letter to your church, it's on the way, you on got the way. My name is Matthew, yeah. used to do taxes yeah. Now I'm breaking bread, putting fish in baskets yummy, yummy. I'm not your treasurer, nah. but I'm treasure yeah. Cause my blessings coming back beyond measure, beyond measure. My name is John, yeah. who Jesus loved yeah. Sent the son to save us, came from above, from above. But like this dove, huh? I'm spreading out my wings yeah. Cause you know who I am, John 316, 316. My name is Peter, Peter. I cuss you out, out But I'm saved now, so I just shout hey. But if you ever run up on Jesus and I'm near and I'm huh, Best believe that I'm cutting off your ears slice, slice. My name is Andrew, Peter is my brother mm -hmm. I was catching fish, I caught him like no other mm -hmm. One day I was on a boat to fish again mm -hmm. Then Jesus said you should be fishers of men mm -hmm. My name is Thomas, mm -hmm. I be pouting mm -hmm. Don't believe it till I see it, I be doubting mm -hmm. Jesus came back, he told us in advance mm -hmm. I needed proof, so I asked to see his hands mm -hmm. My name is James, James. I'm John's brother. brother If you know solo me, that's my mother, mother. My dad named Zebedee, mm -hmm. Jesus called us boner mm -hmm. If you wondering, I'm a son of thundering my name is James too. Okay. I'm low key. Low key. Actually, they don't really say too much about me. Oh. You got a few verses in there, don't you? No, he got three. Yeah. I thought it was four. I mean two, I thought it was four. Oh well, we kinda need more. Let the B play. My name is Philip, John the Baptist came to me. Yeah. I'm from Bethsaida, near Galilee. Yeah. I followed Jesus cause I heard he was the one. Yeah. Told my friend Nathaniel then asked him to come. Yeah. It's Bartholomew, also called Nathaniel. Yeah. My boy Philip came by with them sandals. Ooh. He said he found the one that Moses said was near. Yeah. But he from Nazareth, what good can come from there? Mm. My name is Thaddeus, I be real confused. Real confused. Jesus said he had to go. I said, you do? You do. And then I said, why are you only telling us? Only us. And then he said, I'm only telling those yeah. I trust. Those I love. My name is Simon, so do what Simon says. Simon says. I'm a zealot, so you know I'm passionate. Passionate. The ancient Romans, I think they all ugly. Ugly, ugly. But Jesus working on my heart, so it's above me. It's above My me. name is Judas. Mm. I be stealing. Thief. I was robbing Jesus while he was healing. What? Your favorite scammer. So no, I'm not a giver. Giver. Cause I turned Jesus in for 30 pieces of silver. Mm -mm -mm. Song over. It's a wrap. Shame. Let's go, y'all. We can't have nothing. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> My name is John. Huh, that I was what? Huh. Hey, welcome back <laughs> to the No More Dirty TV show. Listen, I'm so glad you tuned in. Thanks again for tuning in. Do me a favor. Make sure that you are locked and loaded. Uh, can you go ahead and throw that uh, the YouTube channel? Man, make sure you, if you're on this channel, you might be catching us on LinkedIn because we do it on the professional pages. We do it on um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, blah, 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 blah. So, every Friday, you get this. And then now we have it on Wednesday nights and Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Central. That's the No More Dirty TV show, right? So make sure you subscribe so the, and then turn on our notifications and be like, yeah, I'm all in. Then on Saturdays, right? On Saturdays, we do the session, Bible Beats and Bars. We call it Session Live. And it's really our talk show. It's transformative talk. Listen, you don't want to miss the show. Woo! We got the dopest speaker, the people that we are guests in the building, for real, for real. And you'll see it, but make sure that's every um, Saturday, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then if you're on travel, because a lot of us do travel, you can. we also have it on Monday nights. So that's the first part of the week, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Then on Sunday, like we just go ham, man. We just go beef tips. We all over the place. No more dirty radio. So, first of all, 5 p.m., shout out to Ed Gaines at Ed Gaines Entertainment, who is the host of the station. We are on Ed Gaines uh, G93 Radio, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure you go to the website, subscribe. Make sure you get the app, download it. So, all you got to do is click the app and it opens up to the show, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Then, of course, we at 103.1, you already know the business, homegrown, 
But at the end of the day, ours is clean, 100%. We up all day, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Then on uh, Mondays, man, listen, shout out to NC, shout out to Admiral, her, that, her whole team at Envision-Radio.com. Now listen, shout out to them. They just got the brand new billboard at, uh, by TSU. Shout out to Nashville, Cashville, uh, Louisville. They got some new billboards, so shout out. They do a big thing. Because of them and their generosity and allowed us to be a part of the family, uh, we are now in several countries. Hello. So, shout out to France, shout out to Africa, shout out to South America. Uh, there, I think we have some of the Caribbean islands. So listen, shout out to all of you all that are tuned in every, every week. And we're on Monday evenings, 4 p.m. Eastern, which is 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So listen, I just don't want to show a whole lot of love. Go to the website, nomodirty.org. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting we rebranded. It's www.nmdinc. So basically, we just took off all the words and just put the letters. <laughs> That's a comic move there. nmdinc.org. So... Want to get back to the music? Want to, we, you know, I think with Kitty, why don't we do another um, another jo- joint, man? I think we should do... This one is called The Elevator. Now, when you watch this one... Have you ever... Listen, have you ever been in a situation, right? And you're in the elevator. It's dead silent. I'm going to let you hear the rest. Go ahead. Can you give it to him, man? And then let's take him out with some of that ASAP. ASAP, ASAP preach <laughs> and big yet. We'll be right back. The elevator. You'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. Hilarious.
I'm about to get a ring up. Got the text, I'm about to read it. Got the word, I ain't mind leaving. I'm about to get a ring up. I'm about to get a ring up. I'm about to get a ring up. Gotta pick my partners up a chart. I'm about to get a ring up. Don't get, don't get knocked out. Yeah, keep the fire with me like hot sauce. Oh, uh, one day we'll see the sky fall. Believe in Christ, cause you don't wanna get burnt like a hot dog. Hanging out the window, telling that my Jesus is a word. You gotta start praying if you wanna see a word. Don't stay inside, go outside and be the church. Never thirst again, all you gotta do is read a verse. Meet around the bush, he'll find you. If you call on God, he'll slide through. God be true, every man be alive. I'm about to get a real Got the text, I'm about to read it Got the word, I ain't mind leaving I'm about to get a real I'm about to get a real I'm about to get a real Gotta pick my partners up a chart I'm about to get a real yeah, Tell Jesus I need that, turn me up when I be reading the word In the eyes of bunny, man, I know the devil looking funny Jesus slide on me, I need that pressure, you my main supplier Got me feeling higher, this that gas, this that holy fire You need to help me, cause I got some people need some saving I read the word, it turned me up and now I feel awakened You see my hunger, I can't let the devil take me under God turn me up, I'm blowing up, it makes the people wonder Pick up in this church without my brothers, let the way for all my sisters I'm about to get a real. Got the text, I'm about to read it. Got the word, I ain't mind leaving. I'm about to get a real. I'm about to get a real. I'm about to get a real. Gotta pick my partners up a chart. I'm about to get a real. So listen, welcome back, welcome back. I know, I, I know. And listen, did you got it? Then you get the elevator. <laughs> if you just tuned in, you tuned in to the No More Dirty TV show. This is a special doing all about comics, right? Comic, comics, comics that are clean, crazy, hilarious, love, like funny to the bone, hilarious. So listen, want to go out like this? I want to make sure I encourage you all to go to our website, www nmdinc.org because what's happening is listen March 8th excuse me yeah March 8th we're going to bring in the comedian March 9th is going to be our NMD No More Dirty Clean Comedy Show I'm taking the time because I want to make sure that if you are in Huntsville I want you to show up and let's have a good time the doors open at 5.30 the show starts at 6.00 and guess who is going to be our national clean comedian? In fact, like I said, he's opened up for some some of everybody. Bruce Bruce. I mean, he's, you know, and I'm talking, he used to be on that side. But now he's clean. Cat Williams, that was the first cat he toured with. I mean, just an amazing, amazing guy. So listen, D Double D. Y'all know, y'all heard of him. Double D opens up for all the big boys. And he has a completely clean set. So he's going to be our, our special guest national clean comedian on Saturday, March the 9th. Now, if you're not in town, you can also support, sponsor a kid. Listen, there's some, all the proceeds are going to support our Great Miss Project. And we're going to have some good time. Shout out to uh, some of our sponsors. We got some really cool stuff. So again, it's going to take place. Kenny, just go and throw that little graphic up there so you can see it. You're going to see it on the back end. In fact, I think what we're going to do is, Kenny, let's go out with one of Double D's amazing pieces so they can get a little taste of it. You know what I mean? Give them a little taste of it. And then we got to give them some of the boom bat before that. It's AI Anomaly. She's going to be like Bonnets and Bantu. So listen, I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you laughed as much as I laughed. For us putting it together, ooh, it was rough. We couldn't even get halfway through. It took us an extra hour to put this show together because it was so funny. So I'm going to pray with you. And remember, 
The scripture is, a happy heart, a merry heart. Listen, it's like good, 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 good medicine. But if you want to go with the broken spirit, it's going to sap the life out of you. It's going to sap the life. So my, my recommendation this morning, or if you're on the other side of the world, or this evening, if you're on our coast, is that you take the time and find the joy. Find the joy. Find the laughter. Seek that which is funny. And then say, hey, God, help turn this lemon, these lemons into lemonade. Turn your 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 upsetness into laughter. In fact, I pray, but I have these rough days at work and I'm like, it just seemed like nothing's where I say, Lord, look, Lord, give me a funny moment. Bless me with something good. And I'm telling you, every time I see something funny, somebody's running and they fall and slip, and I know that's not funny, but it is funny in the moment, and I needed it. <laughs> or something, something comical, whatever it is, just want you to know that, listen, it's okay to laugh. It's okay to take time out and to say no to a negative feeling and emotion. Let me pray. And then we're going to give them to these two, Kitty. Let's give them these two afterwards. So, God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for giving us the gift of comedy. Thank you for giving us the gift of humor. God, allow us to be able to enjoy these moments of laughter and, and be, be joyous. Um, and then, Lord, um, be, be with us, bless us, help us to be better individuals as a result of this great, clean comedy. And, Lord, for those that are trying to figure out if they want to do with this clean comedy or not, allow them to find the gift, the success, and the audience that would really say, hey, I, I like this kind of comedy. We thank you, we love you, we pray that you'll be with our special guest coming in on Saturday, March the 9th of the National Clean Comedian, Double D. In the name of Yahshua the Christ, who is Jesus of the Bible, amen. So listen, at the end of the day, enjoy yourself, get a good laugh in. I want to see you if you're in Huntsville, if you're in Atlanta, Chicago, if you're in uh, Chattanooga, you're in Birmingham, bro. Just pull up, man, you already know how to get at us, it's admin at info. You know, you already know how to get us. Go to the website, nomoredirty.org or nmdinc.org. Just go. And we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Hey, love you. And have a great, joyful, funny day or night. Their energy so that others may be able to glean and grow from it. Boy, that's serious. If I'm not excited, you're not going to be excited. If I'm not crunk and I'm not off the chain and every time you see me, no more dirty, no more dirty, no more dirty. Go to the website. Go to the face. Yeah, put this one to the face. Yeah, put this one to the face. To the face. To the face. Go to the face. Yeah, put this one to the face. Yeah, put this one to the face. To the face. To the face. No interject. Well, now we know how excited I got. I got too excited, man. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hey. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. Money in my bedroom. 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 My prep game on. Prep go, go, go. Make more, make more. Brain is all I know. Jesus. Yeah. Money in my bedroom. bedroom. Up if you wanna run with a queen, steak sauce dripping as a one team. Ping gang fluid, my ink on steam. Flow heavy pad on five with wings. Straight face, we don't need a show, no teeth. Work hard, eat good, money ain't a thing. Hubby with my back, got the sig on squeeze. That's my two kids, all the team I need. Escrow, grow my stocks on yeesh. Finna put a bag on a Bitcoin piece. Crypto, flip those sauce type drinks. Just goes on prep game, cry like me, like Chase.
get it where I fit it in to find my life. Opposition coming, I'ma fight like David. Slingshot, get the rocks, fly like Matrix. Find my spaceship, thrive high lately. Goes on grind, my mind don't make it. Had to find seclusion from my trifling movements with a nice illusion. Pretty with the petals, but the thorns are loose. Dangerous, real, but that fear you choose it. Underneath all these wins, it's a lot of losers. They like how you do it. I grind, baby. Faith works, fruit of divine, maybe. I shine, baby. Brown girl from the east who grew from a root of a tree that said we'll never bear fruit. When you look at me, I hope you see. Money in my band My prep game on. I'm off that. Train my mind to take the pain it cost me. Time it took to find the peace and lost it. Finding me was hard to breathe. I'm all in. Fighting in a, fighting in a, controlling in a, feeling in a mind. Looking back, I see you in the light. Light, light, light. Look into my eyes till you find you. Little girl, little girl, little girl. Lost on the road, I will find you. Find little you, girl. find you, find you, find you. Grind till you find you, remind you, little girl. Mind you, remind you, little girl. Get it where you fit it, when you get it, little girl. Little girl, get it, get it, little girl. No matter where you come from, grow some, little girl. Grow some, grow some, grow some, little girl. Grind this, grind this, all I, all I, all I, all I. Grind this, grind this, all I, all I. stripper though oh y'all but i was a stripper from i was from the temp server you know they called me when somebody got hurt i was a temp strip <laughs> i let i let the plant a peanut man don't <laughs> don't be judging me <laughs> this is the silly part of the show this is the silly part of the show right here i'm already mad i'm on edge on the way here i almost got pulled over by the cops i don't like the cops Police ain't no joke, cause they dirty. All of them's cool, but some of them is, yeah. They so dirty, one of them about two months ago. This cop was so dirty, y'all. He pulled me over, he was on a motorcycle. He was so dirty, he pulled me over and took me to jail on the back of a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm handcuffing everything, I got my little helmet on, I'm trying to hold on. <laughs> like, man, slow down, so I wrap my legs around, man, slow down. <laughs> well, slow down, man. He gonna pull somebody else over and make me sit in the middle. I'm like, <laughs> he take me through the drive through at Wendy's. I said, man, you trying to embarrass me. Take me to jail. <laughs> no one no hamburger. Take me to jail. Everybody looking at me laugh. My baby mama see me. The last person see me, she laugh. Look at you, look at you, see, look at you. My baby mama, she all right, but she ain't that swift. <laughs> Everybody in here know somebody, work with somebody, or related to somebody that's not that bright. But you still love him. You know anybody put your hands up. Yeah. Take a look around. The one that got their hands up, that's the one they talking about y'all. 
You, one night, me and my baby mama, we were just riding, right? We just ride. We drive past this car dealership, right? We drove past this car lot. She was like, man, that club packed. Get out, get out! That's a car like, get out! The same night, a couple were right next to us, right? It was a couple. The couple was hugging and kissing each other, right? My baby mama's hits me on my leg. See, look at that couple. See, now that's a couple that love each other. They even got a sticker on their car that symbolizes their love. Look at what the sticker say. Look, we love just us. Why we can't love just us? The way they love just us, why it can't be just us? You mean we love Jesus? Get out of the car. Get out of the car. We love just us. You going home. My homeboy, he ain't too bright neither. He ain't that bright. My homeboy is dumb as a brick. He was trying to give me direction. True story. He was trying to give me direction to get to his house, right? He said, you're going to get on the freeway. You're going to take the freeway to downtown. You're going to go downtown. You're going to go underneath the bypass. First exit. Gonna be Milk Drive. Get off and make a right on Milk Drive, and you're gonna make a left. Get off on Milk Drive. Oh, Ryan, where's Milk Drive? Milk Drive! You mean Martin Luther King Drive? You mean Tim? I drove around two hours asking everybody what Milk Drive is? I'm hanging out the one, excuse me, they'll Milk Drive. Yes, can you tell me where Milk Drive is? Milk! Yes, Milk! M-I-L-K, milk. <laughs> I talk of women way smarter than men. Oh, yeah. Women cheat, men cheat. But trust me, women more smoother than men. Can't catch a woman cheat. Women tip steps ahead of the game. Watch all the women when, laugh when I say this. Watch all the women laugh when I say this. A woman so smooth, she can introduce you to a dude she messing with, you ain't know. And man, we so stupid, we shaking his hand, how you doing? I'm comedian, the Gary Young Turner, Double D, thank y'all, yeah. Double Dirty.